Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 10. It's a classic. Now I'm gonna share with you the Ken Burns effect. He pioneered this effect years ago through his documentaries, became popular, it's now it's a staple in the video industry. I'm gonna show you how to use that and also some ways to remix that, use it in new ways, add some spice to your projects. Let's go check it out. So we're in Final Cut Pro. We're going to mimic what Ken Burns introduced years ago with, the, uh, with his documentary films, with that slow zoom and pan. So let's go ahead and start with this one here. The first way I'm gonna show you the first technique I'm gonna show you is using keyframes. So we're gonna start at the beginning of this clip, drop in a keyframe on the position and the scale. And then at the end of the frame, let's go back one. At the end of the clip, final frame, we're gonna do the same thing. Keyframe on the scale and position. And then what we're gonna do is bring this in. We can, if we want, you can drag from over here in the inspector menu, move these values around, or we can hit the transform button there. And we can move this around. Let's focus on that glass ball. Let's finish that out and boom. But this time we're gonna go ahead and use the Ken Burns effect. So we're gonna go to the crop tool Click on Ken Burns. And as you can see, this tool does a really fantastic job of setting your first initial uh, start and end clips. It will actually frame one of them in to eliminate all the letterboxing and, and um, pillar boxing from your clip. So you won't see that those black edges around your, your clip, making it look all scaled up. So this zooms in on that. So we're gonna go ahead and this is actually doing exactly what we want. We got just a straight zoom. Let's see what effect that has. Crop tool, Ken Burns. Now this one we're gonna bring in a little bit. And we are going to pan across. Just get these the same size. All right, let's see how that worked. There we go. Now, interesting thing about the Ken Burns effect, what you'll notice is depending on the length of the clip is how fast or slow it's gonna move. It's that same clip we just played a moment ago. All right, let's try this next one. If we have a vertical clip, we can do this here, where we start at the bottom of the clip and end up at the top. I like the cityscape here. Let's adjust our start and end points, and then got that slow pan up through the image. Nice. Now let's say you're wanting to do a few extra things with your clip. Let's say we wanted to start at the top of the waterfall, end up like following the water, one little batch of water all the way down that waterfall, and then we want to zoom out. So how can we achieve that? So we're creating two movements. So we want to start at the top of the waterfall. Let's bring that there. So let's see what effect we have now. Moving nice and slow from the top of the waterfall to where it ends up on the bottom. So we want to create that into two movements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow a bit of the water down until it reaches the bottom right there. Now I'm going to hit the blade tool, which you press B, and then cut the mark on the timeline where you want there to be a cut. What's gonna happen now, so just to show you what that blade tool has done, it's created one Ken Burns effect, and then the same effect over again, but stretch across the other half of the clip. So what we're gonna do is bring up the crop tool with the Ken Burns again. We're gonna flip these. So we wanna have it begin where the previous clip ended. So we flip those. Now what I wanna do is end up looking at the whole scene of the waterfall by the end of this clip down here. So click done. Now let's see what effect we achieved with that. All 
Oh man, that water looks so inviting. Look at that nice sweeping Ken Burns effect. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Maybe someday you'll have an editing technique named after you. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, we've got a new picture here. This one we're gonna try a speed ramp effect. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the Ken Burns tool again. Crop, Ken Burns. We wanna end up dramatically way up here at the end. Let's check that out. So, kind of basic, but there's not enough energy for this type of shot. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create a compound clip because we need to bake in that Ken Burns effect. That Ken Burns effect doesn't play well once you start cutting up the clip, just like you saw in the last example. It's going to start a whole brand new Ken Burns effect with a separate clip. So we're going to do a new compound clip. Skater girl. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to a spot like maybe just right here. So we're going to hit shift B. That's going to create a speed blade. So it cuts up the speed right here. That allows us to change the speed of these separate parts. And then we're going to end up here at the end. We're going to do another shift B. So now we can click and drag this middle part. You see it automatically creates transitions. We can drag this down. Let's say we need this to be three seconds. Drag that all the way down. Three second clip. So we took what was once just a fun picture and added some great movement to enhance this image. And the cool thing about this clip being a compound clip is we can double click on this, we can copy this effect, drag a new clip down here, and then we can paste attributes. And we put that crop, paste that crop effect in there, and we have that same effect here. Now let's reset it a little bit because with the new image, it's gonna look a lot different. We'll go in even closer. Right, let's check that out. And we have the same effect with a completely different image. Editing is hard work, but it doesn't always have to be. For reaching the end of this video, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro 10 plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it is yours free. Just click below for your free gift.